watched my latest food diaries, you'll remember this breakfast because this is my usual Weetabix bowl, which I'm making almost every day. I like to top it with a peanut maple caramel and bananas because a banana day keeps the doctor away. Oh, and I also added a crumbled cookie on top for a nice crunch and that's basically it. The sun is coming out. I'm here with my favorite breakfast. I would say it's a good day to have a good day. <laughs> so basically I don't have to school. So basically I don't have to go to school anymore because now is the time in which we can prepare for the final E-level exams and that's what I'm gonna do today. So I think I will work in 90 minute blocks and I will start with geography. Let's go. Okay, I studied enough for now and it's time for lunch. I'm really hungry and Ooh. you know, I love wraps and burrito burritos, but the problem is that they are not so convenient to eat. So I had the idea to take a wrap, but turn it into a stir fry. So let's do that. As veggies, I'm using a frozen veggie mix. Here I have tortillas and some smoked tofu and I will start by cutting this and then sport on a Add it to the veggies and now I will heat it up on medium high heat. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make a peanut sauce because it tastes great with everything. Of course, we'll need some peanut butter, some agave or maple syrup, some soy sauce, vinegar or lime juice, three racha. And to season it, I will use my own magic all rounder spice because it makes everything taste good. Link is in bio. Then mix that and add some water if needed. Now add the sauce. This took me like five to ten minutes, and theoretically, theoretically, there's more to that. You can use all kinds of sauces for this, but I love peanut sauce. I really love kombucha. So refreshing. And now it's time for some editing work for a collaboration. Let's make a quick snack. First cereal, then milk, not the other way around. <laughs> By the way, I use the vegan chocolate milk as cereal milk. Mm. You gotta try that. <laughs> and that's a quick snack. Let's make dinner and I'm planning on making pasta alla norma. And actually I've never made it before. I've never eaten it before, so very first time. Go heavy with the salt, toss it around, and set it aside for about 10 minutes so that it releases some moisture. In the meantime, we can chop a few cloves of garlic. You see all the moisture here? We can pad dry it now. So heat up some oil in a pan and add the egg.
tired. Good morning. The sun is shining. We've got a blue sky, but it's really cool. So first I'll have a warm coffee and then make breakfast. Maybe something new, maybe the same as every day. We'll see. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Lucky. Let's make breakfast and I think I'll make a scrambled apple pancake. Let's go. Sign mom. Our pancake batter is made with flour, protein powder, baking powder and some vegan yogurt. And then I'm adding some vegan vanilla milk, which tastes really good in there and give that a mix. Add the batter to the pan. It's okay to destroy it. I think this is going to be very delicious. <laughs> so I will enjoy this now and then study for probably English and um, P. <laughs> study time! Time for lunch or lunch and I will make a carrot pita very quick because I want to go to school afterwards. Let's go. First up the carrots and I will finely chop them. I will first heat up some peanut chili crisp because it's so good. Carrot tofu. Some tofu. I've also added hummus and a veggie bolognese sauce and now we are mixing that up and add the carrot filling. I've added some vegan feta cheese to finish and here we go. Taste test. Very delicious. It's after 7 p.m. and the sun is still, it's still shining. I really like that. And because it's already after 7 p.m., I'm about to make some dinner for myself and I'm gonna make loaded fries using these griddle fries um, because honestly, griddle fries are the best fries, period. Wer nießt denn da so oft? And they take about 15 minutes. and bell pepper are smelling really good. And in here I'm making again my tofu dressing sauce because it, it's perfect for everything basically. Crispy. This is honestly one of my favorite quick dinners. Mm -hmm. Delicious. It's time for breakfast and I will make Weetabix Deluxe and you'll see what it is. Here's my Weetabix base and in here is some vegan chocolate which I will melt first. So I 
I'm adding some peanut butter <laughs> and some agave. And then we can stir it. It looks pretty good. Now this goes in the fridge for a couple of minutes. Why I am enjoying my morning coffee. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. <laughs> we too big still looks. For lunch, I made something very random because I was craving falafel and veggies. So I decided to throw that together in a pan as kind of stir fry. As dressing, I made my freestyle hummus sauce again, which is made with hummus, obviously, <laughs> soy yogurt, sriracha, and I think I added curry powder as well. And that's basically it. I know it's a bit of a random meal, but that doesn't mean that it won't taste good. I love that hummus curry sauce. Let's make a snack. And I've seen those peanut butter rice cake bars all over social media. So I really want to try that. I don't have rice cakes, but I have corn cakes, which are even better in my opinion. And we have to crumble them. For some more protein, I will add some vegan protein powder. This is hazelnut flavored. One, two. Now we need some peanut butter or any other nut or seed butter I think will also work. And some maple syrup or agave. Give that a good mix. Everything goes into a baking dish and press that down until it looks like this. Chocolate! I really want to eat that now, but I will put them in the freezer for a few minutes because I think then they will be even better. When it's about peanut butter, nothing goes to waste in my household. Absolutely delicious. Honestly, as good as a chocolate bar. <laughs> Dinner time! And today we are making one of my brother's favorites. Wait a second. <laughs> Butter tofu! <laughs> but actually I'm not going to use tofu. I will use pea protein chunks and I will have it with rice instead of potatoes. But we'll also make the carrot salad. And I would say... Let the cooking begin. Yes, this recipe is from my own cookbook. And by the way, if you want 50 easy vegan recipes and support me and my work at the same time, you can check out the link in my bio. There you'll find my book and it can be shipped to the US, Canada, all EU countries and Switzerland. And yeah, so if you like my work here, you might want to check it out. And this recipe is probably a family favorite from the book. We have tofu in a delicious, creamy, flavorsome tomato sauce, a zesty, fresh carrot salad and rice or smashed potatoes, actually. And I like serving it with a dollop of coconut yogurt and sriracha for a little kick. Take me home, get you elevated to levitate it and you know 